Hello everyone from one of the great German cities, Nuremberg, our venue as the Max Morlock Stadion. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It is Shakhtar Donetsk facing Porter. Well, thanks, Derek. This should be a tight group, so it's vital these teams get off to a good start here. This should be a very competitive game tonight. starting lineup. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. Starting lineup for Porto. Pepe plays alongside Marcano in central defence, and it's two strikers up front who'll look to provide the goal scoring threat. Otavia. Eva Nilsson. Now with Toremi. And he might be through here. That is the opening goal of this match. And what a start they made. Well, they won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Paremi, getting the ball forward, but quick thinking defensively. Lassina Traore. And they're moving the ball neatly enough, just looking for that decisive pass. They're trying to take their time, but not enough care on the ball. as well from the defensive point of view that he was able to make that interception Mateus Uribe and the throw in for Porto Mekdi Karami A 
and taken short. And they've given him too much space. Now, tremendous block, and he's clear his lines. Now, what can they do from here? Oh, surely. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? So underway once more. 2-0 the lead here. This attack looks highly promising. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Really vital interception here. And the cross fired over, but no real central pressure applied. Well, those stats confirm it. Porto have enjoyed the majority of the possession and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. advantage with them referee says play on Alexander Zubkov he successfully got past him but stepped depending what it mattered Stepanenko Alexander Zubkov well, they're on the scent of something positive could pull one back here Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Otavia. Really good high press. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Well, perhaps he thought he might escape punishment. Not the case. It's a booking. Here it is now, a substitution. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Attending to his defensive chores. Chance to finish! And up and runs off the keeper. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. And the referee's whistle, that's going to be all for the first 45 here at the Max Morlock Stadion. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Uribe. Well, they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half. Snuffing out the danger. Stepanenko. Oh, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Bondar Zubkov couldn't keep the ball Pepe and they can 
continue to advance and a lot of options here oh that's a fine save Short option preferred. Pepe. Can they convert? And it goes! A three goal cushion, and you truly sense it's a matter of how many. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Stepanenko. Alexander Zubko. Traore. And Porto regaining possession. Zubko. The ball with Ottavio. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Traore. Promising sequence, but timely defending when it mattered. Evan Nilsson. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Mateo Suribe. And threading it forward. And there it is. But hang on, the flag has gone up and it's not going to count. Well, it was a close call, but he is just offside. Good finish, mind you. Mikhail Lechenko. Stepanenko. Failed to keep hold of it. Eva Nilsson. Now, who can he play it to? Stepanenko Alexander Zubkov And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here Stepanenko Lassina Traore and there goes the final whistle well they've got to make up for lost time now a defeat at home on match day one Stuart well it's not the start they wanted it puts them under a bit of pressure going into the next game they need to bounce back now now with Toremi and he might be through here there it is the opening goal of this match and what a start they've made
Well kept out. Now what can they do from here? And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit for each. And they continue to advance. Oh, that's a fine save. Pepe. And it goes! A three-goal cushion, and you truly sense it's a matter of how many. And there it is. But hang on, the flag has gone up, and it's not going to count.